the number of distinct integer values of n satisfying this is and so this by this should be less than zero right? that means you could have a scenario where it is positive by negative or negative by positive nice so what am i going to do i'm going to think about when does this become positive or negative when does this become positive and negative i'm going to solve for 4 minus log n to the base 2 greater than 0 okay. or log n to the base 2 is less than 4 2 power 4 is 16 n less than 16 n is less than 16 this is positive n is equal to 16 this is 0 n greater than 16 this is negative same for that this one 3 minus log n to the base 4 greater than 0 log n to the base 4 is less than 3 n less than 4 cube 64 and so if n is less than 16 this is positive if n is less than 64 this is positive so i'm going to break our world into three parts less than 16 16 to 64 greater than 64 nice less than 16 this is positive by positive greater than 64 will be negative by negative this is negative this is definitely negative what happens at 16 at 16 this goes to 0 what happens at 64 at 64 this goes to infinity or undefined so it's less than 0 so i'm worrying about 16 to 64 in this case the denominator is positive numerator is negative this is the range we are looking for 64 to 16 but without counting 16 without counting 64 or 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, all the way till 63. The first 63 natural numbers subtract the first 16, 47. 17 to 63, all the numbers included. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, all the way till 63. Break it down to the three regions. Think about negative by positive, positive by negative. Here it is both positive, here it is both negative. In between it works for us. That's the first step. Then be careful about, hey, am I counting 16? Am I counting 64? Is it less than 0 or less than or equal to 0? I'll be a little careful with doing the math and you are through. All numbers from 16 to 64 are between 16 and 70, 64 without counting 16, without counting 64. All integer values. Gosh.